I started learning game development at the beginning of 2022. After finishing a bunch of tutorials on Unity and Godot, I decided that Godot was the game engine for me, and on July of last year, started development on my very first game. I work full-time as a software engineer, so I only have the evenings and weekends to work on my game. But after a year of small, steady progress, I finally finished a complete prototype of it. If you're new to this channel, the game I'm making is a retro top-down shooter where you control a tank and you have to defend your base from waves of enemy tanks. I'm trying to follow the internet's advice for new game devs and make a game that is simple as a first game. Although in retrospect, I probably should have gone for an even simpler concept because having enemy AI and destructible map objects isn't that simple. Regardless, I have those mechanics working now in the prototype. If you've been following along with my devlogs, here are some of the things I added and changed since the last devlog. The first is a new map. You can play this map by hitting the new game button on the menu. I wanted something simple and easy to understand at a glance as the first level of my game, so I opted for these rectangular clumps of trees in only one tree color. I also added these gray, indestructible walls that players can use strategically. The next big callout is I removed the friendly fire between enemy tanks. When I was playtesting, allowing the enemy tanks to kill each other made the game too easy. The player can just hide in a corner of a map, wait for the enemy tanks to kill each other, and then come out when they are fewer in number. With this change, the player must now personally kill every enemy tank in order to beat the level. Speaking of beating the level, another thing I changed was I made the scene that shows up when the game is over customizable so that it can display mission accomplished if the player kills all enemy tanks. It also shows the number of enemies eliminated and the amount of time that has elapsed since the level started. This elapsed time is calculated correctly and doesn't include the time when the game is paused, which is the final big thing I added to the game. You can now pause and unpause the level with the escape key. So with all of these elements now together, the big question now for the prototype to answer is, is it fun? After spending a few hours playtesting it, my answer to that question is yes. Removing friendly fire between enemies without reducing the number of enemies really upped the difficulty of the level, but I like challenging games, so I enjoyed trying again and again to beat the level. This is also where I could use your help. I added the link to the prototype in the description of this video. If you have a few minutes of your day to spare, please download and play the game. Then feel free to leave a comment below with your feedback. I would really appreciate that. With that said, while I think the game is fun, it can also be made more fun. I plan to spend the next few weeks tweaking the various mechanics, especially the timing of the wave so it feels just right. I also plan on adding a new hunter-killer tank type that will use the A-star navigation system that I wrote to hunt down the player and up the challenge of the game that way. On top of that, there are a few polish items I'd like to add to the command post's behavior to make the game more intuitive to play, but I'll save those details for the next devlog. Right now I have to finish editing this one. Thanks for watching, goodbye.